bright. So I'm gonna have to fill this guy. So this is the back side. Uh, it's open all the way through. It's a pretty big knot. Uh, so I gotta put some blue painter's tape on here. Just gonna make sure this is really well sealed. If I don't seal it well, it's gonna leak through. It's gonna make a giant mess. And uh, don't ask me how I know, but it's a giant pain in the ass to clean that stuff up. So a little extra diligence right here makes a ton of sense. So, oh, yeah, the guy's still pretty heavy. So you can see here, this is still a pretty significant knot. So uh, most of the soft stuff is out of there. I'm gonna go fairly dark, I think, because I wanna, I wanna sort of highlight this rather than trying to hide it. I'm gonna use System 3 epoxy. What I love about System 3 is not just how it works, but these fancy metering pumps. So it's one pump of resin, one pump of catalyst, which is half the volume. So that's, that's gonna be plenty. Uh, we'll see. I'm not sure how spread out it is down in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with, uh, I think, two drops of medium brown. This is trans tint. Uh, this is super concentrated stuff, so you don't really need much. There's a lot of volume in here, but I'm gonna start with two, two drops of the brown, one drop of a red mahogany. Let's mix that up and see what that color looks like. Got this fancy, um, Epoxy mix dip stick I've used before. I really like that color. Maybe I'd maybe like a little more brown than red, but uh, as this cherry ages uh, and gets darker, I think this is probably going to end up being a really nice color. But. I would rather be err on the side of being darker and, and more obvious. I'd rather highlight the knot than uh, make it look like I'm trying to hide it. So really nicely well mixed. And let's start uh, just pouring it in there. All right, that sucked up a ton of resin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give that a couple of minutes to soak in, and then I'm gonna wait and see what it looks like, and I'm gonna come back with a heat gun and use that to pop some of the bubbles. I'm gonna really nice fill in there. Uh, I'm not worried about it structurally. I mean, this is gonna be strong as hell for what I need to just hold up a couple of pieces of, of clothing. But what I, I, what I do wanna make sure is I have a really nice looking, clean, smooth surface when I finish this off. That didn't take long, it's just sucking in there really nice. So that's one of the great things about the System 3 is the low viscosity lets it soak in really nicely and fill. So I'll just keep adding more. Uh, I'll check on it every, every three or four minutes until I'm pretty confident it's full. Uh, and then I'll start paying attention and worrying about taking care of the bubbles. In fact, you see all these bubbles right here? I'm just hit that real quick with a heat gun. You don't want to overdo it. Uh, you know, if you get it too hot, you can actually get it to flash and start to um, react and set and form a skin, which you don't want. You just want enough heat that it lowers the viscosity and the surface tension and pops those bubbles and lets it soak down in there real nice. All right, add a little more. Seeing a lot of bubbles, which suggests it's getting into the little tiny pores down underneath. Just for fun, I'm gonna hit that with a little heat, pop some of those bubbles. I'm gonna have to clean this up at the end. So, you know, when you finally get to the last pour, too much resin is better than not enough. You'd rather have it um, sticking up proud of the surface because we're gonna scrape and clean that down. But. Um, I'm liking the way this is feeling so far. I think this is gonna work out great. And, and now that I'm seeing it better in the site, 
I'm actually really liking this color. I think this is going to be nice. Alternatively to the heat gun, you can use a blowtorch for popping the bubbles. I, I feel like I have a little bit more control with the heat gun with a couple of different heat settings, but I've done both. They both work. Um, it's all good. All right, it looks like we're probably close to the right volume. Uh, it doesn't seem to be sliding down in there. Go on top and break some bubbles. In addition to breaking the bubbles, the heat helps it sink down in there. So let's just pull this over here. So I don't get back to it for a couple of minutes. Make sure we got a really nice fill and breaking those bubbles. That's gonna look great when it's when it's all let's, let's add a tiny bit more resin. I'll come back and check in about 15 minutes. Wait. I think that might do it. All right, so I was looking for one of those magic of, of television moments where I said it was done and walk away and it's all good. And then uh, I actually have to get on a plane tomorrow morning and go off and do my job, but it sunk in and it bubbled up and it needed to be filled a couple more times. So just, just sort of fast forward through all that stuff and just say lather, rinse, repeat. Um, and then eventually you're gonna get there. So it may have seemed a little quicker than it actually was, but each step just takes literally seconds. So it's not that big a deal. All right, I'm back from my business trip. This has had a chance to have cured very nicely. Now I'm just gonna take the majority of it off the surface um, before I move on. Start to rough out my parts. All right, looks pretty good.